Let's make a Pac-Man ghost. Cruise a cylinder onto the canvas and then cruise a sphere on top of it. When it's first cruised, it will snap to the center. Then move the sphere down. Next, cruise a cone into the canvas. This will be the ruffle at the bottom, so scale and move it appropriately. Setting the canvas to orthographic mode may help you align it. Intersect the cone with the cylinder. Next, we're going to array the cone around the cylinder with the circular pattern tool. So select the cone, click on circular pattern, click on axes, select the cylinder, and then drag the cones around. They need to intersect, that's important. Now subtract the cones from the cylinder. Click on subtract, click on the cylinder, click on source, select all the cylinders, and click on the canvas to finish. Select all the edges by holding the shift key and then fillet them. Select the bottom and shell it. If you want to get rid of the bottom of the sphere, you can perform a split solid operation on it. And if you want to change the proportions of the Pac-Man, you can do a non-uniform scale. Now give it some eyes by cruising a sphere in and typing 1 and then move it in place. With Control C and Control V you can copy it and then move the copy in place. Combine the sphere and the cylinder to make them one piece by clicking on them both with the Combine tool, and now they're one. And you can color it separately from the eyes since they weren't combined with it. Now select the eyes while holding the shift key, click a color, and if you want to change the display, then click here. You can display it as materials or outlines or both.